Vikash here from Galaxy Homes. I'm just going for a meeting. I just thought I'll do a, a little video on tax planning. How can you save tax on your rental profit? So let's consider three or four different scenarios. Number one, where you're buying the property in personal name and um, you are on a higher tax bracket and your partner is at a lower tax bracket. In that scenario, you should always buy in your partner's name. And the reason is obvious to save maximum tax. The second scenario could be where you are on a tax bracket, either lower or higher, but your partner is um, currently not working, so doesn't pay any tax. In that scenario, ideally, you should buy in your partner's name, but you can't because to get a buy to let mortgage, you need to earn around 20,000 pounds. So in that scenario, what you should do with this is buy in joint names okay and then you file a, a legal document with the land registry which is called deed of trust whereby for tax purpose you're transferring 90 to 95 percent of share of the house to your partner who is under no tax bracket so this is a really really clever way to save tax and 99 percent of people or the landlords doesn't know about this it can easily be done so scenario three where you both are on a higher tax bracket. Now this is quite tricky, but there is a way you can save tax. You may consider to buy the property in a, a limited company name, in which case you, if you won't withdraw the rental uh, income, then you are not paying any personal tax. All you're paying is corporate tax, which is around 20%. However, there are few caveats for this. Number one, you can't get a buy to let mortgage generally if the property value is below 50,000 pounds. Okay, that's quite key. Number two, interest rates are generally slightly higher uh, when you're taking a mortgage in a limited company. So you must consider that. Thirdly, arrangement fees, product fees, all these are generally a bit higher for a limited company mortgage. So another top tip I wanted to give, uh, especially if both the partners are in a high tax bracket and you want to buy jointly is go for the deals where you have um, have to do a good amount of refurb um, let's say 10 to 12 thousand pound refurb because the, all of these refurb are generally tax deductible unless it's their a major extension so changing uh, a new kitchen or new bathroom carpets painting these are all allowable or tax deductible expenditure. So let's take a scenario where you're doing a reef of around 12,000 pounds. And let's say the rental uh, income from these uh, houses on an annual basis are 4,000 per annum. So in that case, you're not paying tax for three years because you have 12,000 to deduct before you go into a positive profit. So that's uh, another good way to save tax, to go for a high reefer projects which in other uh, which in return also gives you uh, better capital gain